Welcome back. You're listening to Real Talk with Brian and Dan on 1150 KKNW. I'm Brian. And I'm Dan. Hey, I got a fun fact before we get started. Go for it. Did you know that that hashtag symbol is also called an octothorpe? I heard that rumor today. <laughs> you heard that today. Yeah. Anyways, our first guest today is Richard Eastern uh, from the Lash Lounge. Richard is born and raised in Bellevue. Richard Eastern is a graduate of Bellevue High School and University of Washington. Go dogs. He's also been a part of multiple startup businesses, including Real Networks for five and a half years and Washington Property Solutions for 17. Most recently, he has opened up the Lash Lounge in Bellevue and Redmond Town Center, which is what we'll be discussing today. Welcome to the show, Richard. Thank you very much for having me. Hey, so tell us a little bit about yourself besides the business. Tell us who's Richard. Ah, who's Richard? Um, family guy, um, community guy, and um, yeah. Yeah? I, yeah. Been you involved, play golf? Do play golf, a lot okay. of uh, basketball, coach. Okay. Um, yeah, coach Little League and basketball forever. Nice. Now I'm retired as my kids have grown <laughs> older. Oh, yeah. Retired, yeah. Yeah. You're not coaching other kids, other people's kids anymore? Not anymore. Okay. Uh, I, I, I recently was asked to coach a game, and I was like, absolutely, I'll coach this now. <laughs> yeah. nice. So I came That's out of good. retirement, now I'm back <laughs> in retirement. Now you're back in retired. Focused okay. on lashes. Awesome. Richard, we like to ask each guest to share with us a fond memory of the home they grew up in. Ooh, a fond memory. Um, you know, it's really uh, about... Um, family and, and family dinners yeah. and family events at the house. And, um, and I, you know, I was also really involved in politics. Um, mm. So we did a uh, fundraiser for a congressman at the house. I always remember where we had um, the congressman who's running for Senate um, there along with um, a congressman that we brought in from, from out of state, from California. Mm. And um, that was actually one of the more interesting yeah, no kidding. times family there. family and politics family and politics <laughs> always nice. a fun mix <laughs> yeah well so all right so let's get on on the lash lounge yeah. why did you leave the real estate business to start the lash lounge um you know it's interesting my 17 year sort of real estate career um focused on short sales mm -hmm. and and it really hit stride for most of that time, I yeah. would hmm. say probably 16 out of the 17 <laughs> years. Yeah. Um, and we went through a lot of different iterations of our business model where we were buying and we were selling. And um, uh, and then we turned into real estate brokers uh, from investors. And um, and then the short sale market just kind of the bottom dropped out of it. So Dried I up. started. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. I, and, you know, at some point it'll probably come back and I'll, I may get back into it. <laughs> but um I hope not. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I really so, don't like you know, it. It's cyclical. Everything's cyclical. Yeah. Um, but um, I started looking at different franchises, and I met with a franchise broker, and we went through probably 20 different franchise models, hmm. um, of which the Lash Lounge just kept coming up hmm. um, as one that is a proven model across the country. There's mm -hmm. 100 different salons open across the country now, um, two of which here. Uh, two of which are here uh, yeah. in uh, Redmond Town Center in Bellevue. And um, we've been open almost a year, and it's been a lot of fun. So what attracted you to the model? Um, honestly, it's, it's a recurring um, addiction. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we call them lash addicts. They're open about it. Um, it They're open about it. That's good. <laughs> they come in, they get a full set of lashes. And then every couple of weeks, because your lashes fall out naturally, yeah. um, you need to come get them replenished. Hmm. Um, so we have a membership, and um, people sign up for the membership, and they've got two fills a month with that membership. And they come in every couple of weeks and, and get their lashes uh, refilled. Okay, so hmm. you've been open for a year in both locations? Just about a year, okay. yeah. Um, are there differences between the two locations? You know, it's interesting. Um, absolutely, there's differences. Um, and they both just have to do with the, not necessarily the people who walk in the door, but how they get in the door. Um, so in Redmond hmm. Town Center, we get a ton of foot traffic. The Redmond Town Center um, property management company has mm -hmm. done a phenomenal job in generating uh, foot traffic and, and events hmm. and reasons to be at that town center. And and that's a town center that I, you probably both know that went yeah. through some, some changes. Yeah. Some cha yeah. It was a, yeah. it was in a downturn for a while and now it's on a huge upturn. And, um, uh, 
they've added new restaurants, new services. Um, they have events all the time. This weekend, for instance, there's Fit Fest. So hmm. they have what uh, is it? Fit Fest. Fit Fest. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. And you just come out and, um, you know, like uh, title boxing. We'll do a half hour mm-hmm. um, boxing. So they have all these booths set up around the area. And, exactly. And talking mm-hmm. about fitness yeah. and nutrition. and Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So you yeah, get a lot of walk-in up. traffic. Yeah, a lot of walk-in. Well, we get a lot of people that walk by, come in, yeah. and, and make an appointment. It's very much a make an appointment type of Sure, a, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, but you're getting new customers that Richard, way. Richard, this, yes. this is radio, so you've got to yeah. be descriptive. Tell me about, so somebody walks in there for the first time, and they're like, oh, hey, I need my lashes Lashed. What? What do I? <laughs> What's I'm the naive. Term? How, yeah. What is? What it do they exactly? get done? What no, exactly happens at the lash lounge? Yeah. There, I mean, there's <laughs> certainly a fear factor with the whole thing too. People are like, I don't know if I really want to do this, but we have our front desk is is you know I call them the quarterbacks of our salon. They mm-hmm. really are trained on how to educate somebody on the whole process, and then we can we do a free consultation for somebody that really wants to sit down with our stylist and and understand the process more. But with each of our visits, there is a consultation, the service, um, education about how to maintain your lashes, and we sell products mm. that do that. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's you know sealants and cleansers, and if you're using any product that has oil in it, um, it will remove your lashes. Oh, so we have we sell water-based uh, makeup remover and. And hmm. sealants and and cleansers. Okay, I should have studied. I should have talked to my daughter and my wife before. Uh, so I had more pertinent questions because I I don't understand the the lash part of things. Yeah, so you're, is this like stylist? Like if I wanted Seahawks colors, or are we talking just <laughs> like I, we do have some uh, seagulls that come in? But they the um basically you're ex, you're extending your current lash. So okay, we will take a synthetic lash, whether it's mm-hmm. mink or silk, and they're both synthetic. They're not actual mink. Oh. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and actually adhere them to your existing lash. Now, that's our classic mm-hmm. service. Okay. That's sort of our baseline basic service. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's, we do a hybrid and we do a volume. And volume is we build a fan of lashes, anywhere from two to six lashes. And we mm. glue them together and um, And, and you say them. they last for about two weeks? Two to three weeks. Depends on how you're maintaining them and, and what your natural lash fallout cycle is. Mm. Okay. See, I've learned I, I just a lot needed, about lashes. I in the needed last to get year. in there because yeah. I wanted to understand how yeah. this all works. So, who are the current? I mean, who are the? I mean, men, women, what? What are your demographics? Uh, we're, we're about ninety nine percent women. Okay. Um, and literally the demographics anywhere from eighteen to sixty five. Okay. Yeah, it's mm. it's and that's truly amazing to me. Um, that you know we just get that wide range, but it it makes sense. I mean, everybody wants to. What it does at the end of the day for many, many people is just add confidence mm-hmm. to their look. Yeah. yeah. And um, boy, I'll tell you, I mean, this is kind of a real estate show. We get a ton of, of real, real estate, estate brokers. Agents. Yeah. yeah. There's brokers in there every day, great conversations with them. Yeah. We do. It's we because have, we're lacking confidence. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> that is one thing I know you're not, yeah. uh, but it just adds to the. But uh, to look professional. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, as to the listing presentation. Mm. Um, that's, that's right. That's right. That open house looks that contest. much better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So curious, if you were to do it all over again, what changes would you make? Um, for me, it's about um, about people Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and building the right team, the team that wants to be there, that wants to see the company succeed um, and wants to grow their own business within the business. And I, that's the conversation I love having. Um, with my staff and my stylist specifically is about building their business within our business because there's hmm. you know there's definitely um, the ability to upgrade somebody from a classic to a mm-hmm. hybrid or a volume or hmm. um, you know upgrade someone from um, silk to mink that kind of thing where it's just little increments of yeah. of uh, uh, Upgrades to the to the service where they're mm-hmm. making more, the salon's making more, mm-hmm. and, um, and the service is is delivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you are, you're looking for team members then? Yeah, always. Okay, always so looking for good team. How, how do you find the right ones? And uh, um, do references matter? Absolutely, references are huge. Um, um, we take that into you know that's one of our our best ways of finding good people. Mm-hmm. Um, we're we do a lot of presentations. I do a lot of presentations at beauty schools. Mm. to talk to them about um, careers with us. 
Um, we do an extensive training. Um, I've seen a lot of lash salons only do a couple of days or maybe a couple mm. of weeks. We're like six to eight weeks of training where we're paying our stylists while they're training. And they bring in, you know, we bring in actually lash models um, where we do a service for mm. free mm. for that person. And, you know, and that person's. Do you need any lash models? We always. Okay. <laughs> we do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that listing presentation coming up. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Make it pop. <laughs> so do you enjoy what you do? I do. Um, it is a it is absolutely a new challenge every day. Um, and yeah, I mean, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't go back a year from, you know, a year yeah. ago and just go, yeah, that was the wrong choice. Absolutely hmm. not. This has been a huge learning experience, a lot of fun. And, um, and the team mm-hmm. is fantastic. I love mm-hmm. the people I work with. Well, and I think that as a, um, you know, we run a team, Brian and I run a team yep. and, and uh, the community and, and working, not only serving the community, but also serving that ec- economy of your own team. I love that. I love to see people grow in their careers and in their jobs and in their skill sets. So, um, and I can hear that from you. Um, it looks like you're also looking for management and team members. Uh, what's a good, what's a good uh, quality? Um, the best quality is integrity, I think. Mm. Um, somebody mm-hmm. who comes in and tells you what they're thinking, but they're not only... It's not like eh, we've got a problem. I've, I've got a problem and I've got a solution. Or mm. I want to work with you on that solution. Um, those are the types of team members that really add or value add to people. Yeah. And also will just, you know, they see something that needs to be done and they just do, do it. it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Love that. Talent, right? Always yep. looking for talent. Always looking for talent. So do all the team members matter to the success of the mission? Yeah. You know, we're not a huge team. Yeah. We're front desk. Uh a general manager and, and our stylist. So, um, so yeah, absolutely. Everybody matters. That's right. Yes. Ab- mm. Absolutely. Everyone matters. And, um, you know, our memberships are a big part of, of what we do. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's a big differentiator for uh, us and any of the salons out there. So how many, how does somebody find out about your membership and get in touch with you? you maybe about a job. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, the lash lounge.com. Um, and then you can click on either one of the locations, Bellevue or Redmond. Um, you can also uh, just send us an email, Bellevue at the Lash Lounge dot com, Redmond mm. at the Lash Lounge dot com. Very simple. Easy enough. Yeah, shoot me an email, resume. Awesome. Love so it. So if you're looking to make your presentations pop, if you're looking to help people feel have that confidence, either way, contact uh, contact okay, Richard. Richard. Richard, thank you so much for joining us today. No, again, thanks for having me. After the break, we have in studio Mary Lynn from Home Partners of America, who will be discussing a new journey to home ownership. We'll be right back. Not sure if now is the right time to sell? Worried you missed the market? The East Side Real Estate Team specializes in helping homeowners maximize their equity when selling. With our proven premier listing service, our clients have sold their homes for more money in less time than the competition. We know you have many choices when working with a real estate agent, but with the Eastside Real Estate Team, you get a team of highly qualified, experienced agents. From staging to deciding if your property is market ready for top dollar, if you're considering selling, call the Eastside Real Estate Team at 425 425- 200 4093 or check out our website at the eastside real estate team.com a subsidiary of keller williams realty in bellevue are you ready to select a residential contractor for your remodel project or custom construction have you been presented with a contract to review and sign well before you go any further and before you sign anything contact douglas schwed at access law nw for an expert contract review and a contractor due diligence investigation we highly recommend that before you sign any major home improvement remodel or custom construction contract that you consult with a qualified real estate contractor 
attorney. Mr. Schwed has developed a proprietary 10-step builder due diligence investigation algorithm, which fully and completely documents any contractor's operating and legal compliance history, including litigation checks, including civil and criminal background, bankruptcy filings, licensing compliance, insurance and bonding compliance, and other relevant business details. From that investigation, a written report is provided highlighting all areas of concern so the client can make a fully informed, unemotional business decision before the sign and before performance problems and disputes arise. Go to accesslawnw.com to contact us or to get more information. That's accesslawnw.com. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash 1150 KKNW. 